We're back with Richard Southern to chat about some of the day's more interesting stories. And Richard, the plot thickens as the Pentagon continues investigating possible UFO sightings. Another investigation has now been launched, Erica. This is getting quite interesting. The Pentagon, uh, with a brand new probe here, it's the Pentagon's Inspector General, looking into the actions the U.S. military has taken to address the series of UFO sightings in recent years by military personnel, some of which we're looking at right here. Remember, U.S. Navy pilots uh, have videoed objects, which the Pentagon says is real, but defy the laws of physics as we know them. And these objects have repeatedly violated U.S. military airspace. So the inspector general out of the Pentagon says, quote, the objective of this evaluation is to determine the extent to which the DOD has taken action regarding unidentified aerial phenomenon. And now this latest probe, Erica, comes as the U.S. Congress and all of us await a big report due next month, which is supposed to detail exactly what the U.S. military knows about all of this. So it could be a very big event next month. CNN is quoting sources as saying there will be uh, more inquiries around this, uh, surrounding this issue. And you know, if the U.S. military is taking it so seriously, maybe we should start to take it just as serious. There are inquiries around <laughs> this, uh, surrounding this issue. And you know, if the U.S. military is taking it so seriously, maybe we should start to take it just as serious, don't you think? Yeah, something to watch out for. And I know we'll probably follow up on this as well. Very interesting. All right, it is. <laughs> Hi, Shalomon, Makim, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the Possum Elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalomon to the elite that teaches word in all true faith and sincerity. Yeah, today I just want to tie the, uh, pretty much get into a lesson on the chariots, you know, which is our vehicle of salvation, man. You know, and to everyone else, they are a curse unto the earth, man. And as you can see, as time goes on, you know, as we get closer and closer to that perfect day, our faith, our hope, the very thing that we believe in is turning out to be true. It's turning out to be a, a fact instead of, of opinion. Uh, 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 that faith is now is 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 manifesting, man. You know, and and, and with with that, everybody else is because we we was called to believe the unbelievable, but now the unbelievable is being is turned out to be true. These people are confounded, man. You know, you had Esau, you know, going into how pretty much the church defy the laws of physics, and you can you know you can only. It, 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 it's, it's not bound by this realm. The chair is not bound by this realm. You know, where you got to slow down so, you know, you can only go so fast before the, the, uh, the uh, like a plane, you can only go so fast before it starts breaking down. Uh, you can't make a sharp left turn going so many miles an hour. Well, the chair just can, man. You know, can, can, can uh, you know, come from the heavens all the way into the water without losing speed. You know, change, uh, change forms and shapes and, you know. And this nigga know that, man. But it, the, element, the evidence is so overwhelming, they just got to come out with it, man. So, matter of fact, let's start out with this in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 10 and verse 2. It said, Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. See? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. See? Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. See, deep, look, you got to understand. I love you how sad. Gave us a heads up on what to look for, for his coming. And it tells you that uh, you're gonna be, there's gonna be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, you know, which you got, uh, you know, certain constellations lined up. You had uh, recently the, uh, I believe it's like Jupiter and Saturn lined up, but also uh, chariot sightings, man. That's, those are the signs in heaven, man. The signs and the stars, man. The chair is his chair is signs. You got actually it's to the point now. You gotta uh, report these things if you're in, especially if you're in the military, because it was a point where you had to turn a blind eye. But it's to the point now. It's like it's in your face, man. You gotta report these things. And just the clip I just played saying they now they're gonna be uh, they consider releasing new disclosures dealing with what they have seen, man which is the cherries, man, scouting out the place. 
It said, be, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. And guess what? And it's now becoming more and more terrifying because we saying it's the Lord doing it, scouting the place out. Matter of fact, um, because we know exactly what they are. You know, you call them unidentified flying objects, or now the military term is the UAP, unidentified aerial phenomenon. But guess what? We know what they are. They are the chariots, you know, of the, of the, of the Lord, man. You know, that's uh, heaven's host, man. You know, and they're going to be our vehicle of salvation, but they're going to be to the destruction of this place, man. Especially here in America. You know, matter of fact, let's get this. This is at the ride 5 and 1. Then I turned and looked up my eyes and looked. And behold, a flying roll. So as you can see, Zechariah, when he looked up, he identified, he knew what he was seeing. He was sure that was a chariot, that was a flying roll. You know, that was a flying roll. It, 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 he didn't look up and said, Lord, what is that? You know, and he said, look, that's a, he identified what it was. You know, it says, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And he said, and I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. See, yeah, because ultimately, this is going to be uh, uh, to the destruction of this place. You know, the angel is, is it tells you the eyes, the eyes of the Lord's a thousand times brighter than the sun. What does the angels giving the reports back about what we've been crying about, you know, and looking at the church real this devil, man. You know? And you see, and it's, it's the most science is here in America, but it's pl plenty of science throughout the, uh, throughout the world, man. You know? It says, for everyone that still shall be cut off as on this side according to a sea. So to let you know, it's really for the so-called white man. You know? For this devil, man. Because he is the he is the, the one that still he is the thief. Oh, when you read uh Obadiah, Obadiah called this man a thief. He said, if these came to thee by night, that was talking about the Edomites. You know? So that that's another characteristic of the devil still. The robber. You know? It says, and everyone and everyone that swerve shall be cut off as on that side according to it. And don't these people swear on the Bible? You know, here in this place, you got a, the president actually swear in on the Bible or you in the court system. There's a Bible everywhere, even at a damn motel room, you know, but they're going to be cut, cut off according to it. It says, I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts. See, and I let you know this is war talk and it shall enter into the house of the thieves. So that's why you got the military is involved. You know. That's why, that why I had to rewind that the dude said if the U.S. military is taking it serious, how much more the people, man? You know, when this devil pretty much he got uh, radars and shit, you know, gathering data and, and he coming to the conclusion that he can't, you know, that this is outside the, the, the earthly realm, the carnal realm, man. You know, but you see how to say the Lord of hosts, that's the war talk. Because that's how you're gonna get the war in heaven, man. It's gonna to get to the point that 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 those two sides are gonna clash. Which we know the result, the end result is it's gonna be nothing but dust and smell of smoke concerning uh, this devil and his um, military, man. You know. But it says, um, "I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, which is America, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, America." And it shall remain in the midst of his house, and, can and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof. See? So, hey, this is going to contribute to the, this place being on fire, man. The watch is going to consume it with the timber and the stones. So, you know, you're going to have a bulk of the missiles going to hit America. But the chariot is going to get a piece of that action too, man, as well, man. But within that, is, you know, those chariots is for uh, is our vehicles of salvation, man. This is how we're going to be able to escape from the dangers to come, man. You know? And that's why uh, these people are so afraid and terrified. And, you know, Esau put his twist on it by blaspheming the angels, saying that them just green, some green men with big eyes. You know? Those are our vehicles of salvation, man. You know, matter of fact, let's get this in the book of, um, let's get that in 1 Kings 2, matter of fact. 
Second Kings, I believe. Yep, Second Kings. No, Second Kings six. It's like it. Second Kings six and Second Kings six and fifteen. And when the servant of the man of the most high was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host compassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? See, so pretty much, it was, uh, the, it was uh, the Assyrians, they pretty much uh, uh, surrounded that city to capture uh, uh, Elisha, pretty much. You know, and, and the, the servant of Elisha pretty much was, was falling apart, man. Saying, what are we going to do? He, he seen that pretty much it was, uh, it, was, um, it was hopeless, man. It was at a dead end. That it was, you know, he seen the the corner aspect of it, like it was no way out of this. It says, and he answered, and he answered, fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. So pretty much Esau is outnumbered, man. Oh, it tells you that um, I love you how I said that uh, I believe that Saint Luke fourteen, what king coming to make war with another king with ten thousand, you know, not considering that the other king got twenty thousand, you know. Oh, it tells you that in the book of Psalms, too, the Lord's chariots is 20,000. Come on, man. So when the Lord come back with that heaven, he's he going to be deep, man. The sky, hey, tell you, his glory is going to cover the heavens, man. You know, in that big father ship, you might have the, the other the little other ships coming out the father ship, man. But he's coming with a heavenly host, man. You know, and these devils is going to be outnumbered. It can just be one chariot versus this nigga and his army. They out, they're going to be outnumbered. They're going to be outpowered, man. You know, because the spiritual is 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 is, is a, a level up on the carnal. Oh, it tells you in Isaiah 30, 31, he said his horse is a flesh and not spirit. You know, it's just like beating up a midget, man. And that's what's going to happen. It says, um. It says, and Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened, and the Lord opened his, the eyes of the young man, and he saw. Behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. See? So, hey, and so these chariots are here, man. And, and let you know they got, uh, the Lord got to open your eyes to these things, to see certain things. But also, hey, uh, the Lord allowed Esau to see these things. They, come, they, they pop up on the radar. Oh, it was certain things where, um, you know, they was able to set it. They was able to set off nukes and shit, man. Oh, that that that, that further, uh, when the Lord said he's going to smite the boy out of his hand, it's going to be y'all by a smell shot. They're going to let those nukes off, man. You know, it's going to be all the Lord that's going to do these things. You know, but as you can see, that they was pretty much a... Uh, a defense for Israel, man. Oh, uh, matter of fact, uh, let's get this in the book of Psalm 91. Psalm 91. It's like it. Psalm 91. Hey, because, hey, like I said, our faith is turned out to be fact. What we believe in is, is, is true. It's not an, an opinion no more. You know? It's not like I think, or no, it is. And that's how it is with your how about smell shot. It's believe it or not, till it turns out to be it is. You know what I mean? Like he is. You ain't gonna believe it until it happens, man. So this is Psalm 91, and I get to the point. Psalm 91 and 4, it said, He shall cover thee with his feathers. Under his wings shalt thou trust, see? Which is those chariots because, hey, even back then, uh, in the time of Egypt, the Lord, hey, we, Lord actually was hovering over us uh, in the chariot, man. He said, that cloud, that cloud by day and that pillar of fire by night, man. You know, so we trust it under the wings of the Lord. And guess what? In this time, that's how we're going to be delivered, man. You know, it says, uh, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. See, and this is what's upholding us, man. Is this true? This is what uh, is uh, this is our defense. Is this word? You know, this is our defense, and this is what's upholding us, man. And and and, and, and by the way, these things taking place, we're rejoicing, man. What else can you? When you oh, that's why Lord Yahweh said, when you see these things, 
then look up for your redemption, draw a nine. We see these different signs. What else can we do but to rejoice, man? This devil is dismayed. He all confounded. Hey, hey, the military is getting more and more. They have to, they, now they coming out with information. They'll let you know we in that time, man. But these are our vehicles of salvation. They, they, they are cursed to the earth, but they're, they're um, the vehicles of our salvation, man. This is how we're going to be uh, escape the judgment. Matter of fact, let's get this. This is Joel 5 and 11. It said to set up high, to set up on high those that be low. It said that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. How are we going to be exalted to safety, man? By the way of the cherries, man. You know, when you go into uh, these, do, these new uh, uh, weapons, you know, dealing with the, the, the missiles, you know, uh, pretty much your, your, the highest flying air commercial plane or any type of uh, 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 plane, you know, cannot um, escape the, 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 the radius of those missiles, man. So what we're gonna, what's going to be the only way we can escape those things? We actually got to go outside this ozone layer. And, and that's going to only take place by the way of those chairs. Because this devil never broke, broke through the firmament. He ain't got the technology for it. You know? See how this man, how he uses his, uh, these spaceships. He put a whole bunch of rocket fuel and try to bust the door. And that's just like a nigga bagging back and trying to ram the door down with his shoulder. You know? But it's going to be by the way of the chair that we're going to escape these things. This is Revelation uh, 15 and verse 2. It says, And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. See, that was pretty much being outside the ozone layer and looking down on the destruction. But you had to be in a... It wasn't like uh, we were just somehow, we just floating on top of the sea of glass. No, man, it was because we was in the chariots. Oh, it tells you that... Um, Hide thyself in thy chambers as for a little moment till the ignition be overpassed, man. What chambers? Talking about the chariots. You know? It says, it says, and I saw a word see a glass mingle with fire, and them that had gotten victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the most high. See? And guess what? That hey, we um, matter of fact, let me continue on. It said, and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord, power almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou king of saints. See, so we're going to be singing the song of Moses because this destruction is how the Lord is once again going to get his name, man. Somebody got to be delivered to tell the story about what happened, man. You know? And, and, oh, it tells you that we, with our eyes, we're going to see the reward of the wicked. We're going to give court-sized seats of the destruction of America, man. And the best the best spot is looking down from the heavens. But it's going to be by the way of the chariots, you know, which that's our vehicle for ourselves. That's how we're going to escape the danger, man. This is how we're going to escape the danger. Uh, matter of fact, let's let's get this in the book of um, 2 Ezra 13. And um, sick as the thirteen. I'm just gonna get to the point. Yep, sick as thirteen and twelve. It said, and after saw I the man, which is Yahweh Shai, come down from the mountain, and call unto him another peaceable multitude. See, so he's gonna call unto him a peaceable multitude. Meaning what? Although Yahweh Shai gonna call up the elect into that mountain, man. Was that what's gonna bring the peace? Matter of fact, we ended up on that. Because that's really, that, that let us know that's Solomon returning. You know, our Lord Yahweh Shai was that's, uh, Solomon in a reincarnation. That was going to bring the peace. This is Psalm 72, and I start at 2. Why well, start at 1? It said, Give the king thy judgments, O Most High, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. See, and as you can see, this is a song for Solomon, man. And when you read this whole chapter, let's, let's talk about when you're going to it, it's going to pretty much when your house shot returns, man. Because it goes into how pretty much he's going to, uh, 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 matter of fact, let's see. Yeah, he said he's going to redeem their soul from deceit and violence. So how is that going to happen? 
during, under his reign, we was already, we was, we was all right. You know, King David had already to do the other nations around us. And Solomon came in, you know, and they had to live in finger, man. You know, dealing with war. But in this, as you can see in this song right here, telling that he's gonna pretty much be waging war on these people, man. That's gonna be happening in this time, by the way, of the chariots. But let's get to the point. Verse 2, it says, He shall judge thy people with righteousness and thy poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to thy people in the little hills by righteousness. See? So, hey, that's actually going to represent peace when the Lord return, man, unto the elect, you know? But unto everyone else, it's going to be destruction deliver, uh, uh, and distress, evils, that curse. But unto us, it's going to be a blessing, man. You know, oh, matter of fact, so he shall judge the poor of the people and shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. See, so when did Solomon ever did that? Let's talk about when Solomon come back now as Yahweh Shai, our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. But he's going to do that when he brings the destruction upon this place and deliver us up, you know, into those chariots. So, yeah, I, I just hold it with Adifying. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Shem